How do you think about super intelligence? Do you expect it to feel qualitatively different from normal humans or human companies? I guess I think I see it as like a progression of automation in society, right? Mm. And again, like extrapolating the trend of computing, I just I feel like there will be a gradual automation of a lot of things, and superintelligence will be sort of like the extrapolation of that. Uh, so I do think we expect more and more autonomous entities over time that are doing a lot of the digital work, and then eventually even the physical work, uh, probably some amount of time later. But the, basically, I see it as just uh, automation, mm. um, roughly speaking. I guess automation includes the things humans can already do, and superintelligence supplies things humans... Well, but some of the things that people do is invent new things, which I would just put into the automation, if that makes sense. Yeah. But you, I, I, I guess maybe um, less abstractly and more sort of like qualitatively. Mm. Do you expect something to feel like, okay, this because this thing can either think so fast or has so many copies or the copies can merge back into themselves or is, quote unquote, much smarter, mm -hmm. any number of advantages an yeah. AI might have. It will right. qualitative the the civilization in which these AIs exist will yeah. just feel qualitatively different from human no, civilization. I think it will. I mean, it, it is fundamentally automation, but I mean, it will be like extremely foreign. I do I do mm. think it will look really strange, because um, like you mentioned, we can run all of this on a computer cluster, etc., and much faster and all this thing. Yeah. I mean, maybe some of the scenarios, for example, that uh, I start to get like nervous about mm. um, with respect with respect to when the world looks like that is this kind of like gradual loss of control and understanding yeah. of what's happening. And I, I think that's actually the most likely outcome probably mm. is that there will be a gradual loss of understanding of, uh, and we'll, we'll gradually layer all this stuff everywhere and there'll be fewer and fewer people who understand it. And that there will be a sort of this like scenario of a gradual loss of control and understanding of what's happening. That to me seems most likely outcome of mm. how all of this stuff will go down. Let me probe on that a bit. It's not clear to me that loss of control and loss of understanding mm. are the same things. Mm. A board of directors at like, whatever, TSMC, Intel, mm -hmm. name a random company, um, they're just like prestigious 80-year-olds. They have oh. very little understanding. And maybe they don't practically actually have control. Mm -hmm. But, or actually maybe a better example is the president of the United States. Mm -hmm. The president has a lot of fucking power. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not trying to make a good statement yeah. about the current yeah, yeah. For, uh, operant, but maybe I am. But mm -hmm. like the actual level of understanding is very different from the level of control. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's a good pushback. I think like, um, I guess I expect loss of uh, both. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How come? I mean, loss of understanding is obvious, but yeah. why loss of control? So, uh, so we're really far into a territory of. Uh, I don't know what this looks like, but if I was to write sci-fi novels, yeah. they would look along the lines of. Not even a single like entity or something like that so that just sort of like takes over everything, uh, but actually like multiple competing entities that gradually become more and more autonomous, and uh, some of them go rogue, and the others like fight them off and all mm. this kind of stuff. And it's like this this hot pot of completely autonomous activity that we've uh, delegated to. Mm. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like it would have that flavor. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks. <laughs>